Heavy rain Monday led to road washouts and mudslides in Henderson and Rutherford counties. One of the hardest hit areas was Lake Lure. News 13's Andrew James shows us the damage to roads and a wastewater treatment center there. NCDOT crews responded to multiple road issues in the Lake Lure area Monday, including this. This section of Buffalo Creek Road is now closed from this washout until extensive repairs can be made. Hours of rain ended in a mudslide on 74A in Bat Cave Monday. These pictures from News 13 viewers show the extent of the slide. I didn't never expect to see nothing like this. I mean, that's the first time I've ever seen something like that. Emmett Carson is visiting from South Carolina, staying in a rental right across from where the slide happened. He tells me he was outside when the mud and debris came crashing down. This fire pit was originally higher up this hill, but he says it landed here after the slide. I'm just glad that nobody was coming around the curb on a motorcycle or a car because it could have been really bad. This was just one of the weather related issues in the Lake Lure area Monday. A state of emergency was issued for the town of Lake Lure after flooding from several surrounding tributaries caused problems for the town's wastewater treatment plant. Town manager Hank Perkins tells me one of the system's two pumps was down for about 12 hours. One of them went down and in the process of going down, we had to shut down the plant with the transfer station and then get everything cleaned up and then restarted. He says the issue didn't have any direct impact on residents and the pump was back up and running around midnight. Perkins says the heavy rainfall also impacted the city's marina with reports of several boats taking on water. We were forecasting and watching the weather forecast ahead of time and we were looking for it, but I think we just ended up getting hit with circumstances. The town manager tells me they don't have an exact timeline for when this road will be back open as NCDOT crews begin to assess the damage. Many who work in downtown Asheville are demanding cheaper parking rates. About 100 people from Asheville Food and Beverage United took their pleas and a petition to Buncombe County Commissioners tonight. News 13 Samir Nefsi has more on the attempt at parking reform. Hospitality workers are calling it a parking crisis, saying the price of feeding the meters is pricing them out of the downtown area. It's miserable. You're lucky to find a parking space to begin with, and when you do, you usually have to pay for some exorbitant amount of price. It's a double-edged sword for Fallon Webb, who's worked at Strata Italiano for the past four years. I could pay two phone bills, an electric bill, a water bill, several other bills that I could be paying instead of all that parking. Members of Asheville Food and Beverage gathering at the Buncombe County Courthouse to demand a change. Some people who are working like living wage jobs are working their first hour just to pay for parking. Hampton tells News 13 on average workers are shelling out hundreds over the course of a month. Parking has really become an undue burden on workers, especially in the downtown area. We've lost a lot of workers downtown because they just can't afford parking anymore. Their demands now addressed to Buncombe County Commissioners and Asheville City Council in this petition that collected more than 2,000 signatures asking for low cost or free parking and expanded access to public transportation. There is a middle ground to be found. We're not being dramatic or ridiculous here. There is a middle ground and they're towing the line way on the opposite end of the teeter totter here. The parking crisis, however, has caught the attention of Buncombe County Commissioners. Tuesday night during a brief meeting, the commissioners were presented with two options for an affordable parking program. Those options include reduced monthly lease rates across the board to reduce monthly lease rates for low to moderate income workers. Now to review those options, you can head on over to WLOS.com.